Hello, hello, hello to all of my Scorpios. Scorpios, this is a general reading for you for the 8th of the 8th of January through the 31st of January. So by now, you, you're probably still feeling the effects of the full moon in Cancer. Hopefully like it's not too emotionally overwhelming for you. Hopefully you're listening to your sacral chakra music every day. It doesn't have to be at night. It doesn't have to be for any particular time of the day. Um, especially if you're a person who needs complete silence when you sleep. But it can help you throughout the day to just flush out whatever toxic emotions, you know, the past could be bringing up from the um, full moon. Um, also, listening to um, meditation music with water sounds in the background will also help you. Uh, and let's see what else we have here. Here we have the Hierophant card, right? This just popped out of the deck. And so the Hierophant card is attached to Taurus. Taurus is ruled by Venus, um, which is not by coincidence that it popped out of the deck because on the 14th of this month, we have a last quarter moon in Libra. Libra and Taurus are ruled by Venus, the planet of love and the planet of pleasure. We're going to talk about that in a second. First card out of the deck is the Two of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands, and also the Eight of Wands. Okay, all righty, let's go. The Two of Cups, soulmate energy is coming across somebody's path. And soulmate energy, only way you're going to be able to know a, soul, a soulmate, be able to identify a soulmate, is if your life is balanced out, like you have created a life long before soulmate energy comes into your life, a life that you absolutely love and that you're pleased with on both sides. We'll talk a little bit more about it when I give you the questions, Sunday's questions. Here we have the Six of Pentacles. We also have the Knight of Wands. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Wands, right? So Source is trying to tell you to get as far away from somebody who may have burned you. It could have been an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that burned you. Um, and Source is like, raise your frequency, raise your frequency. This is about spirituality right here. This uh, Hierophant card is like really about spirituality. It's like raise your, raise your, um, your, your frequency, and but get as far away from any treacherous um, energy that has burned you or... Uh, and it could be a person, place, or thing. It could be an organization that burned you. It could have been a person that burned you. Something about somebody's energy, um, their actions or their words could have burned you to a point where you're just like, I need to get as far away from that as humanly possible. Somebody may have been um, looking for people's approval, but Source is saying to you, I've already approved you. Remember, money is directly linked to your relationships with other human beings, right? Because when you have a healthy relationship with human beings, you may not have to pay the full price of things. People may just freely give you information that's going to really help you because, again, time is your currency, but it's also linked with your relationship with human beings. So if a person is being real harsh with you, you know, you're using a lot of time replaying what they said or what they did versus using your creativity as a water sign to to make room for more wealth coming your way. Water energy and money is feminine energy. You're already a divine feminine sign, so you want to make sure you have healthy, you're in receipt of healthy energy coming your way, not energy that's going to blow towards you uh, with words and actions. And one minute you feel like, okay, it's hot and passionate. Then the next minute, the energy is burning me and I'm left confused and drain, emotionally drained, right? Not only that, Scorpios, not only that, um, like I said before, source is sending soulmate energy across your path. It's already been approved to send your person across your path. And so that, so get ready, prepare for that. But it's, it's for, see this right here? Night energy is about being your own knight in shining armor. Source is like get on your horse and get as far away from energies that have burned you like a, um, burned you like a blowtorch. It shouldn't even take that many times to get as far away from it as possible. Somebody's on the other side of it. You may need to take a rest because this kind of energy can literally exhaust you, mentally drain you, right? When you're spending a lot of time thinking about it and somebody's on the other side of a relationship, see how this person is looking back? This has been a long and arduous journey for somebody. It's just like, wow, you know, 
On one hand, the energy could be a lot of fun, could be like really fiery, funny, cracking jokes, making you laugh. Next thing you know, they blow torture you and you don't know where it came from. Like you didn't do anything to receive that type of energy. So bottom line is that you're on the other side of it. And so now it's time for you to do things to nurture yourself. Here we have the seven of swords, the four of wands, the ace of wands, the strength card, the nine of pentacles, and also the three of pentacles. So it looks like somebody could have been holding on to some kind of secrets. And there's several people that could have been holding on to secrets. So for you, in a very classy way, I do see you moving on um, from something where, again, you're not even putting up a whole lot of... Um, the energy just cuts you like a sword. Could have been somebody who was manipulative, um, gaslighting, narcissistic, all kinds of low vibrating energy. And you're like, let me move on from this. Let me tap into my strength. We're talking about the number eight here. Number eight is very powerful. Like I said, this video is for the 8th of January through the 31st of January. But speaking of the number eight, the number eight represents the energy exchange for money, right? So let me turn this to the side so you can see the number eight, right? So the top window for the number eight is a visual representation of two windows with the window above these two windows right here. The window above giving a vision of the spiritual and the one below relating to material. So eight representing making visions, messages from spirit real, right? Like how do I envision my life? So source gave me some vision for my life. Maybe I see my business thriving. Maybe I see myself in a house. Maybe I see myself with a family, my significant other, whatever your vision is, right? And so the, um, the, and so it's bringing them to earth and then materializing them into goods that can be exchanged for money. So it, it's like I said, it's the, the infinite, this infinity, this infinity symbol. It's an infinite amount of you bringing your vision to life. How do you, you visualize your life and what good product and service are you going to use to bring forth that vision? Maybe you have, like I said, maybe you have some kind of vision, some kind of talent or something. So source is saying to you, keep your vibrations high. This, this right here, keep your, your, um, Go to a higher frequency so you can see the whole thing and get your spiritual vision back, right? Somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted. And not only that, not only are you going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted, I look like I see somebody maybe approved for some kind of property or proof for something having to do with money. It could be an increase at work. So congratulations on whatever that you're approved for. So it could be both. I do see some kind of increase in you being in the perfect job, whatever that is, whether you're working for yourself or working for somebody else. But I'm looking at financial independence for you financial independence especially coming out of something that you felt like man this thing this thing really really burned me like what what in the world but really what it did was inspire you to it it put a flame up on you and that's the confusing thing about relationships that burn you on one hand here we have this um this ace of wands somebody's third eye is open so on one hand, it can be quite exciting because it can be fiery. It can like um, fire energy is connected to your solar plexus chakra. One minute it's like, okay, I feel like I can do it. I can do it. I'm all fired up and I'm excited. And next thing you know, it feels like it's just emotionally draining where it's just really out of alignment. Like your sacral chakra alignment feels like it's in, align in alignment. Then it does not feel like, it feel like, okay, I, I thought I was going to do this, but I'm, I, I feel like I'm so drained by all this activity going on over here. I can't can't even get focused. I can't even stay focused on my vision, how I saw my life. Like, so it's distracting, right? That's when you know it's not a twin flame. Your twin flame will never burn you. Your twin flame will always be there to inspire you. Not only do they understand you emotionally, but they'll never burn you. That's the, if I had to give like a, a real quick definition of twin flame, you know, a soulmate could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be a, you know, it could be a new friend or whatever. A soulmate, that's somebody who understands you. So they, they connect with you at a soul level. You feel like I've, I've known this person in another lifetime. Like our souls are connected, right? A twin flame could be that, but it's also a person who ignites a flame in you, right? They ignite a flame in you. It could be passionate flame, but they will never burn you. Never. They don't even, they don't even have a desire to burn you. You know, it's like, um, it's like a person who says, um, they can, let's say for instance, you, you told a person, you know what? I wish I was a little, you know, I, I wish I could lose a little weight, you know? They would never say that you're too fat and that's why you need to stop eating that kind of food. In, in other words, they would say, you know what, let's get out and go work out together. They're inspiring you. They're not, they're not, you know, hurting your feelings or 
you know, whatever, whatever the situation, they will never burn you, right? They will never burn you. So keep your vibrations very high. Keep your vibrations very high. Keep your vibrations very high. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you should never be in a relationship where you just feel just, you know, one minute it's exciting. The next minute it's like somebody pops your balloon. You just feel emotionally drained. That's just doing too much to be in a relationship like that. And you all are a pretty intense sign because of your, um, because of uh, Mars, you know, um, and, and, um, and then you also have Pluto. That's the, that's the, um, that's the generational planet, right? That's the planet of power and transformation. So let's see what we have here. We have the 10 of wands, the devil card, the moon card. We have the three of wands. We have the six of wands and also the seven of wands, right? So somebody was emotionally overwhelmed by something like just the re relationship was already tricky as it was. But I'm telling you, somebody was in a demonic soul tie. Somebody was in a demonic soul tie because one minute the energy is, you feel like, okay, I feel like I can do this. I feel like, but again, and what is this? The author of confusion. I'm telling you, your twin flame would never burn you. Never. Here we got some more fire in here. And what did I say was challenge? Your solar plexus chakra. Here we have the seven of the seven of um seven of wands. So when you sit down somewhere, you start meditating and looking at your life and start saying, mm, something about this isn't right. Something about this isn't right. And so go on the back. Somebody's gonna be moving on from something and and, and getting booked and busy instead of being burdened and bitter. That's what I'm seeing for you all, Scorpios. And I do see you being victorious at doing that. See this right here? Person is victorious. It's like you, this is the six of wands. The person is, it's like you, like I said, you had to learn the lesson. And you got two six of wands right here, right? You got two six of wands right here. But yeah, somebody had to learn a lesson. So somebody may have kept, kept going back to a situation because again, demonic energy is very tricky. It is very, very, very tricky. Um, and we're not calling a person a demon. Let's be crystal clear because it's a spirit, right? And so on the other side of this, because there's so much fire in this. And um, on the other side of this, I'm seeing expansion for you. I'm seeing expansion for you. So this is, see how this person is like standing on the banks. They have a foot like firmly planted, but they have another foot kind of like about to leap like Take a leap, take a leap of faith is what I'm seeing right here. And, and I see somebody is kind of fired up. Like, you know what? I can do this. I can do that. I can move on from this. I, I can do this. Right. But all of this fire in your cards, if you feel like you need to take a break, please take a break because I'm sure somebody is emotionally just drained. I mean, just emotionally drained. And again, it's a lesson that everybody has to learn that your, your twin flame will never burn you. They won't. They would leave your life before they felt like they had to burn you or say something that harmful or hurtful to you. Like just to let you know, listen, I'm about to, if you, if you keep on, you know, poking, you know, poking the bear, you know, I, I'm going to, I'm going to say something to you. That's not going to feel, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to warn you ahead of time. Let me just, let me calm down. Let me take a break, you know, because I don't want to say anything that's going to hurt you. They literally will leave you before they hurt you. But a person who is not your twin flame, one minute is up, hot. Next minute is boiling hot. <laughs> you know, it's like, good gracious. So here we have beauty ritual. This is where you take your time to nurture yourselves. And I'm talking to men and women. This is the time you take to nurture yourself, Scorpio, because coming out of this, this, you know, some of you all could have worked in an organization where it could have been a tricky situation, maybe with a, like I said, with a Leo. You could have been in a relationship with a Leo that you felt like was a devil. Their energy was very demonic and low vibrational, just very tricky. And it could have been something, it, it, you know, like I said, somebody was holding on to secrets. But for you, you said, I need to move on. I, I, I Whatever it is, I need to move on. I, I literally need to move on from something. So you could have been dating or in a, like I said, some kind of tricky relationship with somebody. But definitely that energy was not soulmate energy it may have come across like i said the devil energy it's not a person it's a spirit right and so if people are operating in from their lowest frequency jealousy envy um um could be fear doubt some kind of an addiction of some sort it can come across it's just like i said just very tricky one minute you feel like you can trust it the next minute you want to fight it it's, it's upset you just like get you all out of sorts like I said, Leo, don't let pride get in your way. It could be a Leo. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But something got somebody fired up. 
something got somebody really, really fired up and source is like, okay, it's time for you to take your fire back. Fire energy, um, represents spirituality and where you need to take action, right? So something in your solar plexus chakra was out of alignment and somebody needed to take some kind of action. Somebody needed to take some kind of action and the action is, let me get as far away from this energy as possible. Let me, let me get as far away. Here we have, I am independent. There's a the number eight again, money exchange number. Let me get my vision. Let me get my spiritual vision again. Here we have the quality of work you can reduce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. That's right. That's right. So don't let pride get in your way. Somebody, like I said, you're moving towards, um, you're moving towards an enormous amount of wealth here. Um, like I said before, I'm seeing financial independence when that usually comes because somebody is an entrepreneur, has an entrepreneurial spirit. So whether you're working for somebody else and also um, creating a business, you still have an entrepreneurial spirit. And like I said before, you know, it's time to move on from something, but don't let pride get in your way. Don't feel like, okay, I need to stay in a situation that is really bringing out the worst in me. I'm not trying to go down with somebody. It's trying, something that's trying to bring out the worst in me. And I know I'm better than this. So it's time for you to move on. Okay. Time for you to move on. Like I said, beauty ritual, go get a mani pedi. Maybe go get a massage, do something kind for yourself, whatever you need to do to move on from something, just move on from it. Productivity affirmations for productivity. I focus on projects aligned with my long-term goals. I move away from disturbances. I walk toward focus. That's what we were talking about. Tapping into your strength, tapping into your strength, pulling your full birth chart, like getting your laser focus. Even if it was, um, even if it was one of these signs that I mentioned up here, look at your birth chart. See if you have that sign in your birth chart, read your birth chart, get focused again. I summon my attention to all that is crucial to my success. I take breaks to avoid burnout. Like if somebody has really been through it, I release tension. I allow my mind to move into a state of flow. Yes, yes, somebody has really been through it, but I'm telling you financial, uh, financial independence waits for you on the other side of all of this. Your money is in perfect alignment. And so that means your relationships with other people, you don't need to look for anybody's approval at all. It, because again, the energy is just downright, just draining and it's tricky, it's demonic, it's low vibrational, it's operating on another. It's in its own personal hell. That is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Here are the questions for you. As we move, okay, so let me walk you through this. So on the 6th of um, sixth of this month, we had a full moon in Cancer, right? So that fully illuminates your entire spirit to let you know, hey, Scorpio, is there anything you need to part ways with? Is there anything you need to leave behind? Emotions are running high, right? So as we get towards, so we're everybody's still feeling the effects of the full moon in Cancer. That's your need to nurture yourself, to, to mother yourself, right? to um, forms of self-care like this beauty ritual, right? As we move towards the 12th of the month, the 12th of the month, Mars goes station directed around four o'clock in the evening. It goes station directed. And I know I have, you know, soul tribes from all over the world. So around the 12th of the month, wherever you are, around four o'clock in the evening, um, Mars goes station direct, right? So it's putting more of a um, flame up under you because retrograde doesn't mean a planet is moving backward, nor does it mean that it's moving at a slower pace. But it's going to feel like, okay, you got some time to kind of focus on what am I putting my, where am I putting my energy? Am I putting too much energy over here that's draining me? Or and I, should I be putting it here where it's making me more money, helping me build healthy, thriving relationships with other human beings? Why am I, what am I, what am I dealing with people who holding on to secrets and gray area and manipulation and narcissistic energy? Like what, what, what was I thinking? Right. So around the 12th, 13th time frame, more of a flame going to be put up under you to balance out your own life. Right. So on the 14th, we have the last quarter moon in Libra. Libra moon strives for peace, 
balanced beauty. It desires equality and equality and justice. Libra is the peaceful warrior, the one who fights for the rights of all with love and compassion, not anger. In other words, somebody's going to feel like, you know what? I am so done. We are in 2023 now. I am done with, I'm done with drama. I am completely done with drama. I feel like I need to balance out my own life. So Libra loves partnerships and reminds you that there's no need to go it alone. It means that we're not living our lives in a vacuum. It means that we're not fighting our battles alone. So Source is really helping somebody fight this battle with the devil. And we all know how the story ends. God always wins in the end, right? So that's what I'm seeing right here is that somebody has really been going through like this tussle with the enemy and it's all of these broken promises because again, the enemy is the author of confusion. And like you think about when the character Jesus in the Bible went on a 40 day fast, right? Went to the top of the mountain. The enemy was like, if you bow down to me, I'll give you all of this, right? So it's always some, it's always something with some kind of strings attached. It's never an agape love. There are always some conditions attached. If you do this for me, then I'll do this. That's not how source works. Source is like, okay, I give you everything, you know, but it's, it's not, it's not with broken promises. Source is always delivering on sources promises. So it's very different than demonic energy. So I would just say, never make a deal with, with the enemy. Once, once you recognize that this third, this energy that I thought I was so passionate about keeps burning me, keeps making all these broken promises. I'm dealing with the energy of jealousy, envy, all it doesn't matter if it's a, a person you dated, a person who's a friend, a colleague that you thought you were befriend. It doesn't a family member, you name it, a, a spirit in human flesh and human form doesn't matter. This is what's coming your way soulmate energy somebody who gets you so slow down and take your time slow down and take your time here we have and so this is what i have for you here's um here are the questions you want to ask yourselves first question is is your work bringing more peace justice beauty and har or harmony to the world and um how could you amplify that the second question is what would happen if you spent more time with people who are completely at peace with themselves Third question is, do you receive as much as you give or vice versa? Fourth question is, which small steps could you take to create more beauty in, in, um, in your space? And then last but not least is, what would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude? Yeah, you're trying to create a life of peace. Like really in your universe, you have no control over what other people are doing in their universe before your universe. You're like, it's a universe of peace. So that's what I'm telling you. Like somebody is going to take back their power unapologetically. Somebody is going to really feel that personal power and their identity come back to life after you have released. Like I said, let that energy fall by the wayside close that door permanently. It's like that person burned a bridge, that energy burned a bridge with you. And it could be several people, people, places, or things. It could even be a job. Something burned a bridge with you permanently. You're like this. I'm not, I'm not extending an olive branch. I'm done. I'm done. That's what I have for you, Scorpios. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Thank you again for joining me and I'll see you then. Bye.